The platform or the deck is made up of half a sheet of 4 feet by 8 feet, 10 mm thick crawl plast. The middle is 34 inches and the length is 4 feet. Therefore, I can have 8 inches on both sides of the deck. I've been cutting corners and folding the sides in the same direction as the channel in my very first implementation. Now I'm going to add another layer of crawl plast which is also 10 mm thick and with the channels placed at 90 degrees from the top deck. Actually, you can use zip ties to bind two pieces together, but here I use heat fusion because to me it's much easier and cleaner. I use two wood pieces to confine the heat so that it won't spread out too much. And the gap between these two wood pieces are around 10 mm apart. Once it's melted, then I push the edge of a wood piece down and compress it. But I have to hold on to it until it's totally cooled. Then I remove it. As you can see, the sealed joint looks pretty good. This is the completed additional layers I add to the bottom of the original deck. I recycle Coral Plus from another project. Therefore, you see multiple pieces being hot fused onto the bottom of the original deck. With this doubled up deck and also six lashings, I believe this design would work fine in calm water. But then, in rough water, there are other dynamic motion being applied to the pontoons. The pontoon by itself is flat, therefore the twist motion can be easily contained. But then, on the sideway swinging of the pontoon, the deck has to be strong to prevent it from twisting and folding. I could have add more layers to the deck. The 10 mm thick corpus is expensive. Therefore, I choose to use PVC pipe to create a frame to strengthen the deck. I use zip ties to secure this frame onto the deck, and it works well for me. The PVC pipe frame also provides me with mounting points for other things I want to mount onto this deck. The platform was barely able to fit inside my car. This is the very first time I tried to time myself in assembling this pedal board. As you can see, when I insert in the first pontoon, the lashings was caught a quite a few times. But then when I work on the second pontoon, I was getting a little bit smarter and turned the pontoon sideways so it slides in much easier. All the lashings are much longer than they need to be, and it took me about one and a half minutes to tidy up the ends of the lashings. Therefore, there are opportunities for me to shrink the assembly time from five and a half minutes down to around four. In this design update, I add a seat, so I can either sit and pedal, or I can stand up and do the pedaling. With this design update, the weight of the pedal board has increased from 24 pounds to 30 pounds. It is good to have a seat to sit on when pedaling, but the pedal is a little bit too short. The turning seems to work out very well. I will do some more tests in this trial run. Even though I'm pedaling against the current, the pedal board accelerated pretty fast. I tried to rock the pedal board and get a better feel of its stability. And it's, as expected, very stable.
I'm still learning. Try to pedal the pedal ball and get to move in one straight line, and it seems to be working. But I'm not sure if the pedaling technique is correct or not. I tried to, to turn the pedal ball around. As you can see, it turns very well. I made another canoe pedal and I used it here. And it works out pretty good, plenty of power. And I really like it. After this update to the pedal ball and this water test, I have confidence to bring this to the Pacific coast for my crabbing trip. Thanks for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for your support. See you in my next video.